How to set up the Nighthawk X6S Mesh Wi-Fi Extender. The best permanent location for your extender is just inside the edge of your router's Wi-Fi range. If your router supports 802.11k, you will also enjoy seamless roaming from one wireless area to another without interruptions or reconnections. During initial setup, place the extender close to the router and make sure both are powered up and that both have content of identifying data is prepared and transmitted. This initiates a negotiation for a secure wireless connection between the router and the extender. Once the connection is established and secured, the router will forward the SSID information and other parameters to the extender, information required for seamless roaming. The process takes a few minutes. Please be patient. Once the process completes, take the extender to its intended location. After it boots up, pay attention to the indicator lights. They will indicate if the extender is at its best distance from your router. A red light here indicates a poor connection to your router. Move the extender closer to the Wi-Fi source. An amber light means that the connection to your wireless router is okay. A solid white light here means that the extender has secured the best possible connection to your wireless router. A solid white light here indicates that the 5 GHz backhaul is in use. If this light is off, it indicates that the 2.4 GHz backhaul is used instead. The backhaul is the dedicated connection between your extender and your wireless router. The only way to get the backhaul back to using 5 GHz is to repeat the WPS process from the start. If you are satisfied with the backhaul speed and signal strength, you can simply look for your usual Wi-Fi and connect to it. Once the process is complete, you will see a notification informing you of the device that was added to your wireless network infrastructure. Regardless of which process you follow, all that remains is to connect to your usual Wi-Fi to enjoy the freedom of seamless roaming.